hogs on the mob planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven seven cutty, black with the purple strip. That's good family. All right, so I did my research on Nate Wiggins. Obviously, I didn't do no research on him last night. I can't even remember if anybody told me about him. If if y'all did, my apologies. I probably forgot, but yeah. Nick Wiggins is a dog, okay? Um, I know some people, man, he's weight, he's weight. Bro, this is the NFL, okay? He's going to, it ain't like we, we playing Sunday. He's going to get some muscle. He's going to have plenty of time to get some muscle. He can actually go to the team facility and get some muscle today before the press conference. He can start working on that right before the press conference, after the press conference. Heck. So don't even bring up the weight. Like, come on, bro. As long as the Ravens get a wide receiver or offensive tackle today, I'm cool. Nate, I'm liking. I know nothing about the boy last night. But I did me a little research. I'm liking him fast. Six one wingspan is like 74. Something like that. Runs a 4-2. Six one that runs a 4-2. To me, they had him number two on their board. The boy that got drafted by the Eagles, uh, that's from what Toledo or something like that. That's 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 their number one. Like I seen the footage of him going against uh, Zay Flowers. Good coverage, like long, fast, fluid. Like the NFL is uh, comparing him to Dominique Rogers Camardi, and we know, we know. Dominique Rogers Camardi was a beast. Now, if you could draft that, you wouldn't pick that. So, if he turns out to be better, this is a good pick. I seen somebody compare him to my dude, Ladarius Webb. Ladarius Webb was underweight. Ladarius Webb was underweight. He gained some muscle. And he won 6 1. And he balled out. But this pick, like I said, man, it, it growing on me, y'all. It great growing on me. Bleacher Report. Let's check out what they say. Positive and negative. Bleacher Report. Bleacher Report. Bleacher Report. Says positive has great length, uses his long arms and press, and when playing the ball, has the frame to continue to add weight and fill out. Now, I've seen the highlights. This boy be intercepting. His, if, the, if the quarterback throws late, that's going to be a pick. That's going to be a pick. Then i seen some somebody say, like, total yards last year. I don't know if it's true now, but it was like all the games he played, all the yards combined that he gave up was like 160 something something like that if that is true even if it's in the 100 range even 200 range that is a beast like that's a beast patient and press coverage shows the lateral quickness to stay with receivers off the line has fluid hips to flip and run, uses hands well and disrupts routes, does a very good job in sinking his hips and has the burst to run out of his transitions with quick footwork. Plays with vision and awareness and zone coverage. I saw a lot of his playing in zone too. Does a very good job of playing the quarterback's eyes and his ability to jump routes. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. That's that's some positives I would like. His negative, he got one, two, three. He got four positive. Negatives is three. Raw athlete who can get a little lazy at times tends to play with high pad level, which can cause him to round breaks or be slower at transitioning. Lacks physicality, talking, taking uh, on blocks and tackling can seem uninterested in tackling at times. Big gambler who wanders at times looking for the big play 
can get pulled away from his leverage and responsibility. First team, ACC. First team, 2022-2023. First team. That's, that's freaking good, man. And they say he's lazy at times at tackling, uninteresting tackling at times. Two forced fumbles. Do they say one tackle? Two tackles for loss. As I wonder if that had that's when they had him blitzing or whatever. But I like the pick, y'all. I like it. Now today, they have to pick offensive lineman and wide receiver. That should be their go-to. Offensive line, wide receiver. That's I, I gotta. That's what I'm looking forward to. I was looking forward to that yesterday. Now they got their cornerback. I'm cool with it. Marlon in the slot. I know some people. Man, what are you talking about, bro? How you know he's gonna be in the slot? Brandon Stevens and Nate Wiggins, Marlon in the slot. That's how I see it. They got to lock up Brandon Stevens too. But I'm locking the pick. Got to do my research today. Wide receiver, offensive line, offensive line, wide receiver. Got to get it. Got to get it. So tell me what y'all think. Who you think they might possibly get tonight? Oh, who you looking forward to seeing that you hoping they get? Let me know. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the share. Everybody stay safe. See you tonight. And God bless. I'm on a whole different frequency. Yeah. To the point if you met real, you would tell him that he keeps it me. The vibe on 11 really turned up. Really turned up. Really turned up. Ride slow through the city while the trunk rattle. Knob on 11, baby, turns up. Be knocked, let it hit you with the